Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to install FlySight Viewer, uh, first on Windows and second on Mac. Let's take a look at Windows. First thing we'll do is we'll open a browser. And then we'll go to flysight.ca slash wiki. Open the link that says FlySight Viewer Download and Installation and then we'll download the Windows version. Once that's downloaded, we'll go to the Downloads folder. In Chrome, I click on this little arrow and say Show in Folder. Now I right-click on the file I downloaded and say Extract All. I'll go ahead and accept the defaults and click the Extract button. This creates a folder called Flyset Viewer. I'll copy that onto my desktop so it's easy to find. So I right click on the folder and say copy. And then I go to my desktop, right click there and say paste. To open FlySight Viewer, we double click on the folder we just copied and then double click on the FlySight Viewer application. Okay, now let's take a look at Mac. The first thing we wanna do is open a browser then go to flysite.ca slash wiki. Open the link that says Flysite Viewer Download and Installation. And then we'll download the Mac version. When the download is finished, we'll go to the Downloads folder. Uh, in Safari, we can do that by clicking this little down arrow and then clicking the little magnifying glass just to the right of Flysite Viewer. We'll double click the file we just downloaded. Now you can see the FlySight Viewer application. We want to copy this to the Applications folder so that it's easier to access. So we'll do Go, Applications. I'll get this out of the way. And then I'll drag FlySight Viewer into the Applications folder. And finally, to make it really easy to use, uh, we can make a shortcut in the dock by dragging FlySight Viewer into the dock. To open FlySight Viewer, we'll left-click on the icon in the dock. And the first time you open it, you might get this warning uh, that says the developer can't be verified. Cancel from that, right-click instead, and then say Open. And once again, click the Open button in this warning dialog. That'll open FlySight Viewer uh, in the future. If you want to open FlySight Viewer, you can just left click on the, uh, the icon in the dock. That's it. In a future video, we'll talk about how to analyze data using FlySight Viewer. As always, if you have any other topics you want covered, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching.